everyone welcome back to joy's creative finger i'm very excited and i just wanted to know how you all were doing with the sims and the city quest i can't wait to get cracking with those penthouses and i just wanted to share my progress with you uh, just before the tour so I have five days left and 96% down so I'm definitely gunning for those fabulous coats that you see here um, so I've got a lot of requests already on penthouses and things like that so definitely I am going to build something but with a twist <laughs> but today we are looking at Gina's cottage now that is far far from penthouse designs okay <laughs> but at least give me this one and then from next week hopefully I would be building something in the city now Gina lives here all alone in this cottage as you see here um, and I know the first thing you notice is the chimney and I'll talk to you about that in a minute but it's a stone cottage it's very old and knobbly and there's a fireplace outside as you can see here and most of the time she comes out and sits in front here just to get some fresh air. I have put up some hanging plants I got that from my mystery gift box out front uh, and she has a duck pond she would feed this duck with tiny pieces of stale bread and she has a clean water well uh, where she gets her drinking water and um, believe me that's how it was in the olden days you got water from a well and that was clean enough now this rug here isn't a rug it's a beach towel I like the pattern so I placed it down as though it were a rug and the fireplace is from the um, hmm, what was it called again I think it's the mystery rainforest event that we had this large chimney that you see here is one of my favorite features to this house and yes I now have smoke real smoke and that is exactly what you find with these old stone cottages in the forest all you can see is a big puff puff of smoke but what I've placed in there are these smoke machines from the party event Ta -da! <laughs> uh, I think it's perfect for the touch that I was looking for uh, and that chimney is something that definitely sets this cottage apart now behind this cottage we have a door leading out from the kitchen uh, and she can come out back here get some water that she's reserved in this little barrel here she has a bird feeding bench uh, a large dog that stays in the kennel back there she has a parrot that she chats to she has rabbits she's basically supposed to have all kinds of animals the turkey the chickens the ducks you name it she's got all kinds of farm animals presumably uh, around this farm building it's her cottage but it's on a farm now I chose to place most of these trees around in this way and some of the shrubs so that the walkway is sort of scattered around that to me represents the stepping stones you know all dotted around uh, before you get access to the actual house Gina lives alone and finds staying indoors quite depressing so she spends most of her time out here there's a beautiful breeze that blows at this time of the day one nod and then two she falls into a deep sleep and then a dream that's Gina on the swing with her mum and her dad she remembers her mother giving her a warm bath like she did every night reading her a favorite book until she fell asleep and when she was a teenager she had a beautiful ensuite to herself. Gina remembers growing into a fine young woman with her future ahead of her. She then finds herself at this annual event always put together by her father. It was called the party in the park. It was always a hit and every single one of her friends attended and the entire neighborhood looked forward to it. Those were wonderful days. She attended the best school in town where she studied fashion and designing and decided that she was going to be a fashion designer. She then moved to the city and was able to secure a wonderful contract with a modeling agency. She was ruthless and aggressive as a businesswoman. She worked hard and became the face of Simoleon, a very well-known brand. 
as she became more successful with her business life, she became unsuccessful with her family life. She spent all her time at work and didn't realize that her mother and father had passed away without her knowing. She was unable to commit to any love interest and finally, she ruined the heart of the one person who loved her, her husband, by being unfaithful. The dream darkens and she wakes up. As usual, she storms off and goes into the house. She became a very angry and bitter woman. All she has is this cottage that belonged to her great-great-grandfather. And that's all she has to her name. You say, where is everything that she had earned over the years? Well, in the court proceedings, the divorce court proceedings, because she was unfaithful, she lost everything. Her knitting here is all she has left of her fashion designing and the picture of her husband up on the wall whom she was unfaithful to. She has a few pieces of good furniture from her heydays mixed with some old ones, of course. No one visits her here, certainly no one that matters. She has a storage unit here, she has a rocking chair, some boxes that have some of her prized possessions. This chest here has most of her beautiful pictures and collections from her modeling days. And she has some units at the back here with some of the most beautiful dresses from the wonderful designers um, that she had worked with. She certainly can't wear them now, but she's kept them. You know, something to remember her days of success. She then has a corridor that goes behind here and she sits down sometimes to play chess uh, and this is her dining room. No one dines with her here. She dines with herself, her dog and her cat. And though I mentioned that she plays chess, you have to remember, of course, that she plays chess alone. <laughs> I know it's sad, but this is this is true for many people who are advanced in years. She's got some root vegetables on the wall, perhaps some rosemary, some, I don't know, parsley and so on and so forth for her cooking in the kitchen. You would have thought that someone like her would have a wonderful family home with lots of people visiting while she cooks for them. Sadly, she made no investments there. This pot rack is not glitched in it just stays in place when you place it on there so <laughs> I don't know how that works as you know the game is patched and there is nothing we can do as far as glitching goes until further research is done and I'm hopeful these logs of wood are collected by herself she goes out through these doors into the woods and she brings in some of these logs and prepares a meal for herself alone this corridor leads all the way back out here. We've seen that already, but this is the door that goes into her room. I really wish we could have had archways without the wooden door in the middle. Do you know what I mean? That would have been fantastic. Anyway, this is her room. She has a nice double bed. She's got some jewelry, a chest of drawers. I could have placed some of the items from the laundry event in here, but it's too modern. None of those things would have made sense in an old cottage. At least I think so. <laughs> and I wish that bed came in different colors. It's really beautiful. It's really sturdy as well. Hmm. Now, you have to come out from her bedroom into the living space and then through this door where the bathroom is. So she doesn't have an ensuite. Remember, this is a cottage. So the bathroom is out here. Uh, and guests also have access to it as well. The thing is, she hardly has any guests. She didn't invest in those friendships. She had a lot of friends when she was younger, uh, but as she moved away, she became too important. She became self-absorbed, and she was in a class of her own. Uh, now things have moved on. She's very embarrassed, obviously, uh, and she wouldn't want anyone to see someone like her in a situation like this. It wouldn't have cost her half as much of the time she put in to uh, nurturing her businesses. All she had to do was come home on special occasions, return a phone call, honor an invitation. And this is important because your greatest investment are those made in people. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.
Bye.